check this view out. Awesome, awesome. I just got these 33s, basically a 32 and like 0.7 or something, 285, 70, 17 uh, Nitto uh, Ridge Grapplers. So I just got these. They're used, but they're going to look pretty dang sick, I think, on the truck. Um, but got, got a set of four. Going to get these put on and see what they look like. Um, I, I might have to do a little bit more grinding, potentially, um, and I'll show you what I mean. So right here, I got I got quite a bit of space with these, but these are only um, 245, 65. These are basically 29 and a half, right? These are only, uh, I think, 10, 10 inches wide. And I believe those, if I remember right, are like 11. Um, so I know it, uh, the width will play a big part. Um, I do have quite a bit of clearance, though, um, here. We'll see how this goes. Um, they might rub a little bit, but they are used, so... Um, but this right here, I might have to grind this back just slightly. Um, so I might end up doing that tomorrow. Um, but, uh, yeah, so we'll see how much room I have. So I did, I did trim the, the fenders, um, a while back. I have that one of my videos, but I believe it should give enough space. Um, I do have, these are negative six offset rims, uh, or wheels with an inch and a quarter spacer. So, I believe they should clear the strut well enough, but we'll find out tomorrow. Looking at these tires that I got yesterday, I'm going to go back and recut or retrim some of the pinch welds. Um, I was looking at, uh, I don't know how to say his name, I don't want to butcher it, but buddy on Facebook um, with the Off-Road Ridge Lines, um, or Off-Road Ridge Line Facebook page, something like that. Um, he has 35s on his, which is dope. Totally got to go check it out. But I actually... Uh, was looking at his cuts in his wheel wells and they're a little different than mine, a little bit more clean. So um, I looked at kind of how he did that and so I'm, I'm gonna replicate that for this. Basically, he had his, so I kind of just like trimmed mine. He had his where um, it is quite weathery outside so it's a perfect day, but he had his cut like straight over and then straight down and then cut out the bottom here. So I just kind of grinded this back and then cut this out. Um, so I like the way he did it though. So I'm gonna cut this, cut this out, and uh, I'll show you after I'm done. All right, so right here, I actually ended up just cutting right there, kind of angling it a little bit, and then just trimming it down the side. It gave a lot more space. It looks like there's a lot more room. So I'm excited to get these tires on. Off with the old, in with the new. Daddy, what is he doing? Putting the tire on. So I just finished cutting this. So I actually cut pretty far into it. Um, and I'll show you how it rubs in just a second. But right here, plenty of room just doing normal driving and city driving. Fully cranked. It will hit a little bit. So I'll clean that up over time. But uh, this was basically just to get this so I can drive down the street and do some overlanding and light off-roading. All right, so I finished cutting. Essentially, this is what it, what it looks like afterwards. Not too bad. Had to come up right on this elbow, came up just slightly. So I'm gonna have to get some custom fab fabrication for this. Um, but I'll just get it covered. I'll just put some tape over it or whatever, so to keep water from going in there. But just get one solid piece down here, and then maybe. Um, fabricate some some kind of something there but yeah i mean it's all good turned out well um tires look good everything looks solid i think it looks really good uh the 285 70 17s they actually clear the strut pretty decently um if they were brand new tires these are used if these were brand new tires it'd still be able to clear um don't think it would clear this way if they went bigger than that though so they just stick out a little bit too much but nonetheless, I think they turned out really good. They look really good. Um, stick out enough and 
Yeah, I think, it'll, I think it'll look really, really good when done completely and gives it a good, good stance. I have to check the clearance on it still, but definitely gave it a bit more. But that's it on cutting the fenders to fit that.